Hi there, Nigel Saunders here of KW Bonsai. Today I'll be working on my Ficus Microcarpa. This is a cutting of a cutting. The last time we worked on this tree was over a year ago. It was uh, maybe a year and four months. And the tree has been growing untouched since then. This is the third video of this tree. In the first video, I root pruned and potted the tree. In the second video, I started working the upper structure a bit and today I'm going to continue on with the styling of this tree. I'm looking at the styling of the tree. It does have a nice flare at the base of the tree, both left and right, which is really nice. It's not quite as good from this view here. You can see this root goes forward. It's not really a nice radial root base, which would improve the, the look of the tree. At the back, we still have this root flare, but you can see kind of individual thick roots that kind of make up this root flare. Again, not ideal. And from this side, you can see that root that makes the flare from the front, which, you know, this is definitely its best view. Uh, we have, there's a root down here and this one kind of crosses over like crossed fingers, which I don't like, and I think we'll be correcting that with the next repotting. I think I'm going to have to remove this crossing part of the root and develop new roots coming out in a radial pattern from this cut point, which I don't think will be too hard. We can just keep that area moist and we'll grow new roots and continue this trunk flare down into the soil. So get rid of that kind of root defect. We do have some nice radial roots forming at the back here. I can correct this big thick one at the back. I can, uh, you know, cut it off shorter and again get some more radial roots growing in a better direction. This root at the side, this thick one, is okay. Um, I, again, I could make a, a cut and develop some more roots so it's, you know, just not just one big thick one but you know, we have more, a finer radial root base. And I think that'll help improve the miniature look of the tree. So back to the front. Uh, I've got, you know, this is a typical apex at the center of the tree, which is fine. This big branch here, that could be considered a major defect or it could be a plus to the tree. Uh, I like deciduous trees or broadleaf trees or you know non-needle type trees I like all the major trunks to grow upwards towards the Sun so I like that look of the trunk coming up and branches coming up towards the sky so I really kind of like this as a feature the problem with it is is that this trunk is starting to dominate this one it's uh, it's thicker it comes forward it catches your eye. So I think some pruning up top to reduce the mass on this trunk, encourage this one to grow, and also encourage this one to grow. We've got, well, I've got, uh, this one is not quite opposite this branch. It's a little higher, which is nice. It kind of steps up. So I think in future designs, it'll be important to have these three trunks as major trunks. So if this one was sort of the same thickness as the other two, I think it would really improve the design of the tree. And they'll also be kind of trained in an upright pattern. A lot of these branches here, this one, I think I'm going to remove. I don't think we need a, you know, a branch coming out horizontally when we've got this powerful trunk up here. This branch down here, or trunk, is sort of a offshoot. We'll continue to develop it, but it's got to be shortened so we get more changes of direction. We don't want this coming out thick and then kind of a sweeping arc here. We want it to have zigzaggy type movement to it. So that'll be pruned off shorter. And we'll be doing a lot of structural work up here. There's a lot of branches growing in towards the design instead of fanning out from the center of the tree. So we're going to be fixing that kind of thing today. The first branch I'm going to prune off is this horizontal one here. 
I don't want a big cluster of branches all growing from one spot on this tree. We'll get kind of a big bulge here. So that's going to be pruned off as the first operation. So here we go. And already I can see that cleans up that area. You got the major trunk line coming up. It doesn't, your eye doesn't come up and then distracted by this branch. It flows up the tree. The next work I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten these branches. So I have a leaf in here that I can shorten this branch to. So I'm going to shorten it to right here. So I still have a leaf on it there. And also here, I've got a branch here. I'm going to shorten it to there. If you imagine this tree as a full-size tree with a canopy, this trunk line will be going more horizontal, searching for light out in this direction. One of the problems of letting your tree grow too long without any pruning is you start to get dominant growth. So you can see the top of this tree is really vigorous. It has all these new leaves. And some of the weaker areas of the tree kind of get neglected. They start getting weak. You can see the leaves are getting old in this area. There's not a lot of strong new growth in this area. By pruning the top down, it'll encourage vigor back into these branches. They'll get more light. There'll be less energy going up top. It'll be flowing into this branch more, which is what we want. We want to encourage this branch to grow. The next branch or trunk I want to tackle is this thick one coming out front. So I want to encourage everything to fan out from the center of the tree. So everything growing in towards the tree I want to remove. There's a little branch on the inside here that's growing in towards the center of the tree. So I want to remove that. Like that. There's another branch here that's growing in towards the center of the tree. I definitely want to remove that or prune it off shorter to this outward facing leaf. So that's removed. There's another one here on the inside that I want to remove. That's gone. There's another apex here that's growing in towards the center that also needs removing. That's a fairly vigorous shoot too. This one doesn't go towards the center, but it, it kind of goes towards the back. So it could be redirect, redirected by directional pruning. Now, I, I probably want to prune this one off shorter. If you imagine a curved canopy on the top of this tree, wherever it will be eventually, the tallest part of the canopy is in the middle. And as you get towards the edges, they're going to be shorter. So I don't want this trunk here the same height as the one in the center. So I think I'm going to prune it off shorter to these horizontal branches down here. It'll take a bit of weight off this branch, so it won't be so dominant compared to this one. And it'll reduce the height so we can get a nice curved canopy. So I'm going to come in right here and take that top off. Just like that. Again, that was a fairly vigorous part of the tree I removed. Here's the reverse angle of this branch now. You can see that point where I just cut it off right here. And all our branches are fanning out from the center of the tree. I still need to shorten this one. I'm back at the front of the tree. So I'm going to shorten this upright leader here to right here. There's two outward facing leaves, so I'm going to prune just above those. So our new branches will fan out from the tree. So that's that trunk pruned up. The next part of the tree I'm going to tackle is this main central trunk here. So again, I'm going to remove anything growing in towards the center of the tree. For instance, this branch right here, that can be removed. And again, that's another really vigorous branch. Let's 
see, there's another one here that's growing in towards the design that can be removed. And the rest aren't bad, they all kind of fan out. They just need to be shortened. As I shorten these upright vertical trunks, I'm looking for leaf direction. So I want to shorten them to a point just above leaves that are pointing in the direction that I want the branch to grow. So right here is a good point. I've got some outward facing leaves there. And the main, I have a leaf facing outwards here, one here, and one here. So I think I'll take it just above those. There's one at the back here. We can take it, just take the tip off. And there's another one here. I'm just going to remove the butt at the tip of it. Just tip pruning it to get some ramification. The rest look okay. Our little spider there is still okay too. The next area I want to tackle is this kind of cluster of uh, branches off to the left hand side here. So let's have a look at those. I'm going to have a look at these branches. I've got one, two, three branches growing from the same spot. So I want to pick the nicest one. I'm looking at the front view, which is somewhere around here and deciding what to keep. It's a tough decision. Um, it is almost directly opposite this branch here, which I don't really like. They call that bar branches where you have a, a trunk coming up and a branch coming out each side of the trunk at the same height. It kind of creates a T, which isn't attractive. Uh, it's nicer to stagger the branches. However, we don't really have that choice here. So this one kind of mirrors this one on the other side. They both kind of go horizontal. This other one grows more upright, which is more, more in the style of this trunk here. So I, I don't like that mirror effect where we have a kind of a equal looking branch each side. So I am going to remove this nice horizontal one here and we'll see what it looks like with the upright one. So here we go. It is a well-developed branch at the base, but it's gone. Now I'm gonna have a look at it from the front. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I think that was the right choice. It looks better. It, definitely gets rid of that bar branch effect here and gives this trunk more of an upright look to it. We could always kind of wire it out a bit. It kind of fills in this hole here in the canopy also. So I think that's good. There is another little one here I can remove. We don't need that one. So that one's gone too. And this one will be developed also as a trunk. So we'll have one, two, three, four trunks and a fifth one down here. I am going to prune just the tip off this branch to get some ramification going. So I'm going to prune it to some outward facing leaves. I think down to here. I'm also going to take the tip off this one to get some ramification happening. That's all the pruning I can do for today. I think you can start to see the development of an upright structured tree that you would see in nature on a ficus. It's not your typical bonsai tree that has a trunk with 
branches that look like a pine tree drooping down. It's got that upright feel and the start of a start of a canopy on top, even though it's very sparse at the moment. That's all the work we'll be doing today on the Ficus microcarpa cutting of a cutting. So Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai, do something green today. Try and recycle everything that you can. And even better, try not to purchase those products in the first place. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.